Night on the news side. Yes, rumor has it there are some soggy headlights <laughs> waiting for you. <laughs> From Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports, this is Friday Night Football with Paul Shaheen, Ben Bobick, and Greg Glover. Friday Night Football is brought to you by Food City, value every day, and Sonic Drive-Ins, enjoy all-American variety. Friday Night Football. Hi, right, welcome back. Welcome in, everyone. I'm getting my microphone situated. Nonetheless, we're here. If you can't hear me over your dryer running in the background, go ahead and turn us up. Yes, we're a little soggy today, but we're back and loaded with highlight scores and more. Per the norm, we start with our big one. It's time for the Friday Night Football Game of the Week, covered by Warren and Griffin, local lawyers you love. Tonight's game of the week had all sorts of historical tie in CCS, a win away from locking up their first ever home playoff game. Knox Webb stood in the way. A team the Chargers have never beaten. Not to be beaten by the rain was our guy sports reporter Ben Bobick, fully equipped for tonight's weather, ready to bring us the highlights from our game of the week. Hey, Ben. Paul, very, very soaked right now, but it was a lot of fun. These kids had a blast out there. It was pouring. It just kept coming down, and they loved it. They were fired up for this game. It was an old school mentality, but it would be the new school Chattanooga Christian Chargers who made some school history. Nothing but rain tonight, except at David Stanton Field. The CCS Chargers ready to bolt up for a chance at a home playoff game. And it just did not stop coming down. Knox Webb finding success running the ball early, and they capitalize on the touchdown. And get this, they converted a field goal in this weather to go up 10 to nothing. CCS finds their footing behind Jamichael Baxter to cut the Spartans' lead to three points. Believe it or not, the first turnover of the game didn't come until late in the second second quarter good news for the Chargers they pounced on it CCS they can't pound it in though has to settle for a field goal but anything goes in the rain how about this Sam Hall the Travion Scott on the fake to give the Chargers a 14 to 10 lead and in the second half the rain did not stop and neither did the home team's attack Baxter gets in and that's a deuce for deuce deuce the only thing this wet cold rainy night needs is someone to turn on the burners. That man, Demarcus Hinton, goes flying down the sideline. The Chattanooga Christian School Chargers defeat Knox Webb for the first time in program history, 28 to 17, and a playoff game is coming to David Stanton Field. The last two or three weeks, they've just fought for each other. And uh, they realize that they've got a good football team, uh, but goals and what you want aren't given to you. You gotta go earn it. This is probably the wettest high school football Friday I think I've ever experienced, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't change a thing. I am impressed by these kids. There were only two turnovers tonight in these conditions. The one fumble you saw on your screen and an interception in some garbage time. But you know what? Kudos to the Chattanooga Christian School Chargers. They're going to be right back here at David Stanton Field in two weeks. Who knows? Maybe we'll be here and maybe it'll be a little bit more dry. But if you don't mind, Paul, I am soaking wet. My black jeans are like leather. I feel like a Olivia Newton-John out here. But you know what? I'm not the one people want to see. The one they want to see is you and the rest of the highlights. Why don't you take it away? I want to hear more Olivia Newton-John highlights there, Ben Bovic. And he, Ben said he wouldn't change a thing. I would. I want to wear a hat. I don't want to do my hair every night. More playoff jockeying ahead. Howard and Eastridge, both bound for postseason play, but both with hopes of earning a home playoff game. It was still, yes, strong possibility for tonight's winner. Not so much the loser. Eastridge playing host. Let's call the Mud Bowl, shall we? Second half, Howard up 20 to nothing. Pin deep, punting Giovanni Davis. That, my friends, was a forehead block to give East Ridge great field position. No points come off it, though. Howard's Calvin James showing off his arm now. A 40-yard bomb to Ivan Hardwick, but no points out of that drive. They had to punt, and the punting problems, well, they continue. Yeah, no luck there. I blame the rain. And you know what? I blame that puddle as well. Why not? The rain not slowing down Tremonte Brooks, though. Hey there, Brooks coming at you. 63-yard score 
make it 26 0 Howard, and that's how it ends. Howard rolls 26 0. Baylor playing host to MBA. Red Raiders down 6 0. Elijah Howard about to change that. Number two is good for one of these just about every week. Howard says goodbye. 59 yards score for the Tennessee commit. Baylor up 7 to 6. And pause. Random dance party on the sidelines until this Natasha Benningfield unwritten. Google the lyrics, quote, feel the rain on your skin, end quote. Ironic, huh? All right, back to the game. Baylor adding on. Neil and Jean, nine yard score on the keeper. Baylor goes up 14 to 6. The defense party the rest of the way. Great win for Chattanooga's Big Red, 14 to 6. Baylor on top. Now to the scoreboard. Ray County, well, no, we'll get to Ray County. Let's start with some action. Well, we're going to skip those. Those were last night's games anyways. Sequatchie County, 32-0 over Grundy County. Whitwell loses to Fayetteville, 49-14. Hicks in a one-point win last night. Bledsoe County, 44-6 over Cumberland County. Cleveland, a one-point loss to William Blunt, 21-20. Copper Basin loses to Andrews, North Carolina. Grace Baptist loses to Kings Academy, 59-7. And Meigs County continues to roll. 63-0 over Polk County. Udawa takes care of Heritage in Tennessee, 41-14. And Ray County over Carnes, 41-14. Here's your pick for the Friday Night Football Play of the Week, sponsored by Warren and Griffin, local lawyers you love. All right, it's from the Howard Hickson game last Friday. Howard's Javion Robinson, the right sideline. Ooh, toe in the line, back through the middle and up the left side, slicing through the defense like a warm butter knife in pumpkin butter, not just butter, pumpkin butter. 70 yard score, Javion Robinson, your play of the week winner. All right, you know the drill. That was just first down. We'll keep the chains moving during the break because when we come back, Boyd Buchanan continues to rise. Macaulay hosting an out-of-state powerhouse. And as always, we'll hear from the fans, bands, and cheerleaders. <laughs> 